so coach, what was it that interested you the most about the Fleetwood position? Uh, well, that's where I started my coaching career uh, in the late 90s under Joe Polich. I was Joe Polich's assistant coach there for two or three years before I started coaching girls. So it's kind of coming back. My, I live in the district. My son goes to my kids go to the district. And so it's probably a great opportunity to come back and coach at Fleetwood. Have you noticed a big difference between coaching girls basketball and boys basketball? It's very similar. I mean, the, the whole thing I think is a lot of just getting other personalities who can who can take getting yelled at, who can take the instruction, who's going to be positive about things. It's, it's the same thing, boys and girls. Yeah, summer's always tricky because you don't know if you're going to have all your guys for certain games. But how have things been so far? We've had enough guys here. We've been filling in and out. You know, tonight we're probably missing two or three key guys. You know, but it, it's getting the other guys the experience. And that's what the summer's about. So staying positive with who's here and looking to get better every night on the court. Uh, Fleetwood had five seniors in this starting lineup. So who are some of the new faces that uh, come the winter? People are going to be more familiar with. Uh, well, I think uh, Mason Senna. I mean, he got some time at, towards the end of the season, and Caden uh, Ryan also. And then it's going to be a mix of a lot of other seniors. Uh, we have Nat, uh, who's going to be a senior, uh, along with uh, uh, Blake and and uh, and some other juniors that will be getting in there to get us some critical time. Um, I mentioned coaching girls basketball. Not many coaches can say they won a state title. Uh, how often do you think back to that year with Boyertown? It was a magical year. I mean, I, it started way before that. I always go back. We played in the Allentown Sports Fest, and we, they were eighth graders, and they got to the semifinals of the varsity tournament. A guy came up and said, you guys are going to state championship before they graduate, and it came true. It was easy. We had five girls that all play college basketball, so it was just putting them on the court and kind of guiding them in the right direction. Yeah. Uh, I mentioned that Fleetwood had five seniors starting. Is that kind of motivation for the group you have now that, hey, there, there are spots that are going to be open. There's there's minutes to be had if, you, if you're going to work hard enough. Yeah, and I think so. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's what we kind of talked about. It's like you all have your opportunity now. New coach, so whatever the old perceptions were of the other coach, it's brand new. Everybody gets a fresh slate. And I always go back to the Boyertown years. We had many kids down there that only ever had one good year. You talked about our state championship year down there. Katie Armstrong barely ever got to play at all. And without Katie Armstrong, we're nowhere near a state championship that year. I saw you running some sets tonight. Uh, do you prefer that or do you want to let them kind of create on their own more? What type of style do you do you like? So I do like a lot of sets. We usually have about six, seven set pieces that we have and we'll have our like old school offense, you know, reverse action, backdoor Princeton style offense that we'll have in. So I like doing that. They seem right now are doing better with just a freelance because they don't really know the offense right now. Yeah. Uh, last thing, what do you think about the competition in Berks County on the boys side? Yeah, I mean, I'm going to have to get to know that. I mean, obviously, I could name a lot more girls players right now than I can boys players. But, I mean, I think we'll fit in just fine in Berks 3 and 4. I think a lot of the teams are very similar there. Uh, I saw Schuylkill Valley this summer. They look pretty solid so far. But I think everybody's kind of on the same level. Well, I appreciate your time, and uh, best of luck the rest of the summer. It's always good seeing you.